So Boys on Film back in London's Leicester Square for another London Film Festival screening for 2018. Raj is here. Hey Phil. We've just been to see a new film starring Melissa McCarthy, which is called Can You Ever Forgive Me? Based on a true story from 1991 set in New York about a writer called Lee Israel who um, forged letters, forged uh, writer letters because yes. she was a struggling writer whose work wasn't really wanted anymore as kind of celebrity biographies. Uh, she's a big drinker as well. She gets the sack and it's basically her next career move. I saw the trailer for this a couple months ago and I thought that it looked quite like a very intriguing film and I have to say after seeing it, it's been one of my favourites at the film festival this year. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love Melissa McCarthy anyway. I loved her in Spy. Um, obviously she played a lot of comedy roles. This is, you know, it had co comedy elements. It was very funny. The script was very funny. She has a drinking buddy who is played by Richard E. Grant, uh, another brilliant role for him. And she basically takes on a new career, forging writer's letters. Yeah, and as, as much as uh, she was doing dodgy things throughout the whole movie and the FBI were on her trail, I just really kind of wanted her to win, actually. I know, that's I, the thing, isn't it? Because obviously what she was doing was, was wrong, but you just feel for her because she goes through so many problems in life. Her cat's sick as well. She kind of despises humans. A woman after my own heart. Yeah, I know, me too. <laughs> she, she's, more, she's more an animal lover than a human lover. Yeah. No, I just was, I was really intrigued by the whole film. Uh, it wasn't a moment where I thought, oh, this is like lacking or getting boring. It's just quite the perfect little film for, you know, a nice day out at the cinema. Well, I was quite interested in seeing what Melissa McCarthy can do in a, in a straight role. I say straight because obviously she plays a gay character, which, which is another tick for me because I've never seen her playing a gay character. I don't know, actually know if she has played a gay character before. Quite surprisingly, this is a gay little film. I didn't... Yeah get that from the trailers or anything but yeah there's a lot of gayness going on here we see her uh, in her previous job as a celebrity biography writer and nobody wants you know her stories i think by the when the when you get to the end of the film and it kind of comes full circle but definitely stay for the credits and and i think one of the best parts of the film is when they tell you what happens afterwards yeah so richard e grant plays her drinking buddy uh, another fantastic performance for him, I think. I'm a really big fan of his. Do you do you rate? I'm not really him? familiar yeah, with him that that much. So. Even with Nell and I, I mean, that's the obvious one, I suppose. That's where it all started, I guess. No, can't say that I've yeah, really clocked him too much yet. Oh, you need to check out some of his work. <laughs> I mean, he is an established actor. Melissa McCarthy again. Interesting to see her play a, a a drama a drama role. I mean, obviously there are comedy elements because the script is very funny. I mean, actually laugh out loud funny the script. I thought I had loads of, loads of very funny moments. I chuckled quite a few times. So, yeah, I think if you're looking for a nice, quaint little film with a good story and, you know, something you want to have a laugh, a little chuckle to, then you should definitely check this movie out. And it's really touching, too. I mean, there were some really heart-rending moments, particularly the friendship that she's got with Richard E. Grant's character, who's Jack. It's really sad because you can tell that these two people love each other and they will almost do anything for each other. They're yeah. very loyal. But yet, you know, they're kind of selfish in their own way. And I think that's the same with, with Lee's, you know, Lee's character as well. You see her ex-girlfriend, you see her meeting up with her ex-girlfriend and realising what the problems were and why that relationship failed. And it's because Lee was, was quite a selfish person and kept people at a distance. And that really does come through, despite it being very funny the first half. I think you really see the, the reality of it yeah. in the second half. And, and the relationships that she has with people and why they break down. And that was quite interesting to see. For me, this film just has a lot of heart. It's got humor, it's got substance, yeah. it's a true story. Um, I was just overall extremely impressed with this film. And it's the same director who directed The Diary of a Teenage Girl, which I loved. You haven't seen that film. I haven't you seen need it, to no. see that, because that's fantastic too. So for me, it, it really did its job. I think, you know, great director, terrific cast brilliant story I didn't know anything about the the true story either so I feel like I've learned something um, and it was funny it was engaging it's full just, stuff. just go see this movie you won't be disappointed Phil and I loved it it's one of our favorites of BFI Film Festival this year uh, so yeah definitely put it on your list thanks for watching